Hey everybody, welcome to a, another lesson of learning Japanese. Today we're going to cover a short and simple grammar pattern that goes by the construction of noun plus the phrasing nashi followed by either the particle de, the particle da, or the particle no. And depending on which particle you use, you'll be using the grammar pattern itself in a slightly different way, which we will go into. So upon hearing the phrase nashi, you might correlate that with the negative nai form, the phrase nai basically which makes a verb into its negative form. Well, nashi is basically the same thing as nai, it's just nai in a different form. So it will translate to something along the lines of not so much not, but in this case, without. So what this grammar pattern noun plus the phrasing nashi will translate to is basically without noun. And the simple thing about this grammar pattern noun plus the phrasing nashi is that we can use it to modify another noun, we can use it to modify a verb, or we can even use it just to complete the clause. And so those three options are exactly what the three choices in particle usage we have lead to, as in if we use this grammar pattern to modify another noun, then nashi is going to be succeeded by the particle no. If we use this grammar pattern to modify a verb, then nashi is going to be succeeded by the particle de. And if we just use this to complete the clause and basically end it, then nashi is going to be preceded by da or des. And so this particle alignment should be pretty familiar material because we know that no, the particle no is commonly used when we're using to modify nouns such as the noun of a noun modification. We should also know that the particle de is commonly used with verbs to basically express the means of doing that verb. And of course, we should know that da or des ends basically a clause, such as when we have dakara or deskara to connect the first clause to the second clause of a sentence. And so with all that said and done, now let's just jump into some examples and get an idea of this pretty, again, simple grammar pattern. So for our first example sentence, we have the line ashi kubi o nenza shimashita kara, kyo wa undo nashi da. And what this line will translate to is just basically because I sprained my ankle, I'll go without exercise today. So let's break down the sentence bit by bit. First up, we have the word ashikubi. This is going to translate to ankle. We have the particle o right after it to make a direct object. But then we have the verbal noun nenza suru. Nenza suru is going to translate to basically to sprain. So nenza shimashita is going to be the polite past form. So I sprained my ankle. We're going to add the conjunction kara right after that. So because I sprained my ankle. Now we move on to the next part of the sentence and we start off with kyo, which means today. We have wa marking today as the topic of the sentence. Then we have undo, which means exercise. And this is the grammar pattern here. We're going to insert nashi right after undo, which is a noun, so it works out. And uh, then right after that, the particle that we use after nashi is going to determine how we're using the grammar pattern. And we're simply going to end the clause and the sentence as well, so we just insert da. So once again, ashi kubi o nenza shimashita kara, kyo wa undo nashi da is going to translate to because I sprained my ankle, I am going without exercise today, basically. For our next example sentence, we're gonna use this grammar pattern with a verb. So we have the line, Kanojo wa recipe nashi de, iro iro na ryori ga dekimasu. And what this line will translate to is just basically she can make all kinds of meals or cuisine without the recipe, basically. Let's break down the sentence bit by bit. First up, we have Kanojo, it's gonna mean she. We have the particle wa marking her as the topic of the sentence. Right after that, we're going to employ the grammar pattern. So we have our noun, which is going to be recipe, and this is going to translate to recipe. So recipe nashi is going to be without recipe. Uh, then the particle we're going to use this time now is the particle de, because we're going to be inserting a verb right after this so that the grammar pattern can modify the verb. But before the verb shows up, we're going to be inserting, of course, the iro iro na riori. And here, iro iro is going to act as a not adjective. That means all kinds of. And then, of course, riori is going to be basically food or meal or cuisine. So all kinds of meals. We're going to mark this direct object with the particle ga this time around because we're using a potential verb that's about to show up. And that verb is going to be dekiru, the potential form of the verb sudu. So we put that all together. And again, it translates to she can make all kinds of meals without the recipes. Kanojo wa recipe nashi. For our next example sentence, we're going to use this grammar pattern with a noun this time around, or basically another noun because we always have a first noun in this grammar pattern. And so our line is Denshi nashi no keitai wa sukaimasen yo. And what this is just saying is basically I can't use a cell phone with no batteries in it. Break down the sentence bit by bit. First up, we have Denshi, which is going to mean batteries. And this is the first word in our sentence, but we're going to use the grammar pattern right off the bat. So Denshi nashi is going to be without batteries. And then we're going to add the particle no right after nashi because we're using it to modify a noun. And the noun that we're going to be modifying is keitai, which means cell phone. We're going to mark Ktai with the particle wa because we're going to use this to denote basically a negative scope and that negative scope is going to be detailed by the following word which is 
Arimasen, which translates to to not be able to use. And so if we combine that all together, once again, we have Denchi Nashi no Keitai wa Sukaimasen yo to basically just translate to I can't use a cell phone with no batteries. For our last example sentence, we're going to go back to using this grammar pattern with a verb because that seems to be the most difficult subcategory. So for our line, we have Kondo wa kanojo nashi de kite kudasai. And what this line will basically just translate to is just please come without your girlfriend this time around. So let's break down the sentence bit by bit. First up, we have Kondo, which means this time. We have wa marking this time as the topic of the sentence. We have Kanojo, and that's going to translate to her or girlfriend, girlfriend in this case. And that's where we're going to employ the grammar pattern. So right after Kanojo, we have Nashi, so without your girlfriend. And then a verb is going to follow this, so we add the particle de to use this grammar pattern with a verb. And our verb is kuru, or in its te form this time, so it's going to be kite. And then we're going to add kudasai right after that to mean please come. So all together, kondo wa kanojo nashi de kite kudasai is going to be please come without your girlfriend this time around. So that's how we're very simplistically using the word nashi right after a noun to mean without that noun. And we follow with whatever else we're trying to say in the sentence, or we just end the sentence with da or des. And yeah, it's really simple, but uh, like usual, this is going to be only one of many ways to express the same meaning. So, and not only is that true, but nashi also has a, another kind of meaning that means as soon as, which we will cover eventually, hopefully, and yeah.